Welcome to Deb's Big Backyard. I'm Deb, and this is the tale of two fences. We've always had a chain link fence since we've moved in here because we've always had dogs. And I've done everything possible to beautify the chain link. And then three years ago, our neighbors put up this fence and gave us the backside and didn't stain it. I've never liked the look of it. Everyone said that it would grow on me, but I decided to grow on it. Because I knew I had a chain link fence in play and about three feet of open space in which I wanted to fill, I chose wisteria, which is a fast growing vine that I knew would work for me. It has a very pretty little foliage and three times a season, a purple flower comes in. I got about 10 poles that I had in the garage. I repurposed them. They used to hold tomato vines. And I found some clothesline to create a freestanding frame that my wisteria are growing up and by next year I will have a complete green screen that will bring beauty back to my backyard. But this is a tale of two fences and it's time to talk about mine. It's a chain link, it's unsightly, and I wanted to cover it fast. Being an edible gardener I wanted to do something that would be pretty, would cover it quickly, but also would have a function to it so I chose hops. So by next year, this should be all filled in. One plant fills 25 feet, I am told. And if I want a home brew, I've got that option. So the question is, do fences make good neighbors? Well, that's a personal decision for you. Mine's beautiful. That's it for Deb's Big Backyard. See you next time.